Airtable is a great tool for organizing your team's data and creating custom interfaces, automations, and more. However, Airtable isn't the only database app in the space. Founded just a couple of years ago, SmartSuite offers very similar features at a much more attractive price point. But is it all worth it to make the switch? In this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth comparison of Airtable and SmartSuite so you can determine which one is right for you. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we work with enterprise teams and growing companies to create more time for the work that matters. If you'd like to learn more about X-Ray and our services, just go to our website, xray.tech. To see more videos every week about workflow design and automation, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'm going to compare Airtable and SmartSuite across several key categories. We'll look at each app's user interface and experience, custom views and fields, automation options, dashboards and interfaces, third-party integrations, technical performance, and of course, pricing. If you'd like to jump ahead to any of those categories, you can find chapters in the video's description. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. First, for anyone who might not be familiar, let's quickly cover what Airtable and SmartSuite are. On the surface, Airtable and SmartSuite are essentially spreadsheet and database apps. But unlike Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, these apps are really for building custom internal systems. Instead of using an off-the-shelf app for something, you can make your own version of those apps. For instance, you could use Airtable or SmartSuite to build a project management system that acts as an alternative to Asana, Monday.com, or Trello. Or you could use these apps to put together your own CRM as an alternative to HubSpot or Pipedrive. By connecting Airtable or SmartSuite to Softer, which we'll cover more later on, you could even build a custom web app that serves as a convenient portal for your clients to sign in and view their own data. Essentially, Airtable and SmartSuite are both versatile apps designed to give you freedom to build what you want using a familiar layout of tables and fields. Both of these apps have broadly similar functions and use cases, but they ultimately serve two different user types. I'll cover the similarities and differences in detail in this video, but here's the main distinction between the two apps. Airtable, which is backed by venture capital funds and has been available for about 10 years, has the edge for enterprise teams. It's got the performance, the stability, and the advanced security and permission features you need for enterprise solutions. SmartSuite, a bootstrap startup founded in 2021, offers similar features at a much lower price, and it's likely the better pick for smaller teams. Its design is top-notch, and it's got a lot of convenient features that Airtable is just missing. But the lack of fine-tuned permission controls and less sophisticated automation tools make it less ideal for enterprise teams. That's the comparison in a nutshell, but there's a lot of nuance that gets lost in a brief summary. Let's jump into the detailed comparison and take a closer look at each app. To start, let's examine the user interface and user experience of Airtable and SmartSuite. As similar apps, they both offer up pretty similar designs and functionality, though SmartSuite definitely has a little more visual polish. Even at a glance, you can tell which one is the shiny new app on the block. But beyond this minor visual difference, the two apps basically work in the same way. Within a workspace, you can create a database. In Airtable, a database is just referred to as a base, while in SmartSuite, they call it a solution. In spite of the different terms at play here, databases in both apps are very similar. You can add several tables to each database, add custom fields to those tables, and populate them with hundreds or thousands of records. Then, you can organize your tables into custom views and add optional filters and sorts to easily surface the data you're looking for. These are both fundamentally no-code apps. You can create all of your databases and systems just by selecting the appropriate buttons and menu options. No coding required. When it comes to UX and UI, I'd say the two apps are very close, but SmartSuite wins out due to some extra visual flair and elevated design. Though it may be worth remembering that Airtable came first, and SmartSuite has definitely borrowed a lot of design elements from its competitor in its initial look and feel. Ultimately, they both provide a simple interface for creating flexible databases. Next, let's dive deeper into some of the data organization features we brought up while looking at each app's UI. Specifically, I want to look at what each app offers in terms of field types and views. This is where Airtable and SmartSuite start to distinguish themselves from each other. Both apps include a wide array of field types. These run the gamut from text and select fields to date and time, formula fields, linked records, and more. But there are certainly more field types in SmartSuite. By our count, there are 42 unique options compared to 28 for Airtable. SmartSuite's unique fields include options like voting, IP addresses, hex code color picker, and even a signature field. Additionally, most text and number fields in SmartSuite include validation, 
So you can ensure that the data entered matches the intended format, whether that's an email address, a phone number, or an IP address. To add similar validation to Airtable would require a complex solution involving automations and multiple fields. Frankly, it just wouldn't be worth it in most use cases. And while both apps include the ability to link records, Airtable limits you to only linking records within the same base. On the other hand, SmartSuite lets you link to records in any solution. So no matter what database you're working on, you can reference records in any other database. This is easily one of SmartSuite's most useful and unique features. However, Airtable does have a few field types that SmartSuite doesn't. Retail or manufacturing businesses will be happy to see Airtable's barcode field type, and anyone can benefit from the last modified field type that displays a timestamp for the last time each record was edited. You'd need to create a formula field in SmartSuite to create a last modified field, which is easy enough, but barcodes don't currently have a solution on SmartSuite. When it comes to field types, SmartSuite beats Airtable, particularly if you want easy validation for specific data formats. But Airtable's definitely not far behind in providing a diverse array of field types and robust formula functionality. Next, let's take a look at views. In both Airtable and SmartSuite, views are an easy way to display data from a table. A view rearranges data based on your chosen settings, but doesn't alter or delete the original data. For some views, you might just apply a filter to a traditional grid layout so you can easily see records that match certain conditions. For other views, you might want a totally different layout, like a Kanban board for tasks, a gallery for images, or a timeline to track projects. Both apps offer a similar selection of views, but there are a few key differences. SmartSuite and Airtable each include grid, Kanban, timeline, calendar, Gantt, form, and gallery views. Airtable has one unique option, a list view, which is essentially a simplified grid. SmartSuite, on the other hand, offers a map view, which can display addresses and location data as pins on a map. You'll also see options for charts and dashboards in SmartSuite, which will allow you to compile reports out of your data. While Airtable doesn't include similar options in their Views menu, they do include similar functionality in their Interfaces feature, which we'll cover more later on. Ultimately, Airtable and SmartSuite are pretty much neck and neck when it comes to custom views, although each one has a couple of unique options that may sway you one way or another. However, I should note that Airtable's views are much better integrated with automation, which we'll cover next. Organizing your team's data in one source of truth is a great way to get started with automation. So which app will be better for automating tasks with your data? Let's find out. Both apps have support for simple native automations and can also connect easily to automation providers like Zapier and Make. With automation functionality inside of Airtable and SmartSuite, you can launch an automation based on several triggers. These options include when a record is created or updated, when a record matches conditions, when a form is submitted, or at a scheduled time. However, Airtable has a few extra triggers that SmartSuite is lacking. These are when a record enters a view, when a button is clicked, and when a webhook is received. But SmartSuite notes that webhook triggers are coming soon. Once an automation is triggered in either app, it can run some actions within your database or in external apps. Both have pretty small lists of supported apps, such as Gmail, Jira, Outlook, and Twilio. You can see a full list of supported apps in both Airtable and SmartSuite in the resources board linked in this video's description. While neither Airtable nor SmartSuite is likely to be your main automation provider, Airtable easily beats SmartSuite in this regard. In Airtable automations, you can add conditional logic and even write JavaScript for custom actions, neither of which are available in SmartSuite right now. Additionally, the ability to trigger automations when a record enters a view is extremely useful. It's a very simple way to set up an automation and missing it is a big disadvantage for SmartSuite automation. As it turns out, this is also one of the main factors that separates Airtable and SmartSuite when it comes to third-party automations too. As you can see in X-Ray Tools, which is X-Ray's free automation search engine, popular automation providers like Zapier and Make support both Airtable and SmartSuite. But crucially, you can't trigger an automation to run when a record enters a view in SmartSuite, even if you use Zapier or Make. If you're automating with SmartSuite in an app like Zapier, you'd have to trigger the automation for any new or updated data in your database and apply filters to the second step of the automation to narrow down the records that would actually be processed. Essentially, you have to recreate the filters and conditions that you specified in the original SmartSuite view instead of just pointing Zapier to the existing filtered view. On the other hand, this functionality is available right out of the box with Airtable. All in all, if you're looking for a platform to support automated workflows, Airtable is likely the better pick.
Next, let's take a look at third-party integrations available for both apps. Integrations in apps like Airtable and SmartSuite allow you to import data from other software, extend capabilities of your custom systems, share data in convenient portals for customers, and more. In general, you'll find far more integrations for Airtable than SmartSuite, which isn't really surprising given that Airtable has been around much longer. For instance, in Airtable, you can directly import data from software like Google Calendar, Salesforce, GitHub, and Zendesk, among others. On the other hand, in SmartSuite, you can only import data from a standalone file like a CSV. Airtable also includes extensions, which are plugins built by both Airtable themselves and third-party developers. Adding an extension to your database will allow it to connect directly to other apps and perform additional actions. For instance, with the Data Fetcher extension in Airtable, you can connect your Airtable base to any app's API and make a custom request through a no-code interface. So even if Airtable doesn't have any native integrations for the app you want to import data from, you could just use the Data Fetcher extension to get it. Note that Data Fetcher, like many Airtable extensions, is a separate optional app with its own paid plan. However, SmartSuite doesn't include any plugins that are comparable to extensions. The only integrations they reference are related to their native automation tools or third-party providers like Zapier and Make. They also mention apps that allow you to embed data directly into SmartSuite dashboards. One specific integration I'd like to highlight for both apps is the ability to connect to Softer. With a Softer front end and back end data stored in Airtable or SmartSuite, you can create a portal for your clients or even a fully fledged web app. Softer enables easy user sign up and login, among many other useful features, which you can learn more about in our Softer Beginner's Guide. All in all, Airtable has the clear advantage when it comes to third-party integrations. However, both apps can be used in conjunction with Softer, which is definitely something you should check out if you want to make client portals or other simple web apps. Of course, when you're building systems with either Airtable or SmartSuite, you'll often want to skip the integrations and just build within the app's native tools. That's where Airtable's interfaces and SmartSuite's dashboards come into play. With these features, you can assemble customized pages that contain visualizations and summaries based on your data. You can add charts and graphs, filtered grid views, key stats, and more. Interfaces and dashboards are great for putting together reports or building simple layouts for specific workflows. For most enterprise use cases, Airtable's interfaces are superior to SmartSuite's dashboards. While Airtable has no choices for embedding videos and conference calls like SmartSuite does, it offers more choices for displaying and rearranging internal data. For instance, Kanban and timeline views can be added to an interface, but not in a SmartSuite dashboard. Airtable's interfaces also include more granular control over editing permissions. Airtable lets you set edit and create permissions independently for each element in an interface. In contrast, in SmartSuite, it's all or nothing. There's no distinction between creating or updating data. One nice thing about SmartSuite's dashboards is the ability to combine data from several solutions or databases into a single layout. This can only be accomplished in Airtable if you add synced tables to your database first, which is definitely not as convenient and requires a team plan or higher. Overall, however, I'd still say Airtable is the better tool for building internal interfaces, particularly if you need to be precise with your editing permissions. Before wrapping up this comparison with a pricing breakdown, let's take a quick look at the technical performance and limitations of both tools. Overall, Airtable is a more stable app with better performance. SmartSuite runs well most of the time, but might not have the responsiveness or uptime that you'd be looking for in an enterprise context. If you plan to build an app around your Airtable or SmartSuite databases, then Airtable will be better equipped to support large teams making lots of requests. There's also a big gap between record limits for both apps. While SmartSuite tops out at 200,000 records per solution on their enterprise plan, Airtable offers more than double that figure. On Airtable's enterprise plan, users can create up to 500,000 records per base, and you'll see similar disparities at every pricing level. Additionally, as a more mature app, Airtable's uptime and general performance is excellent. On enterprise plans, Airtable guarantees a 99.9% .9 uptime each month and will actually provide service credits to impacted accounts if they don't meet that commitment. I'm sure SmartSuite will continue to improve their service over the next few years. Trust me, they have some incredible updates planned. But if you're looking for the best possible performance today, Airtable's got to be your pick. Finally, let's take a look at how both of these apps will impact your bottom line and go over their pricing plans. I'll give you a quick overview, but for more detail, you can find these pricing pages in this video's resources board. 
SmartSuite is considerably cheaper than Airtable, with most plans coming in at just over half the cost of the comparable Airtable package. However, Airtable's higher prices do come with additional features and perks as well. With Airtable's plans, you'll get more cloud storage and higher record limits at every tier. The Enterprise plan also offers some extra security features and white glove service that just isn't available in SmartSuite, unless you work with an expert directly. If you'd like help managing your databases and workflows, our team at X-Ray can work with both tools. Just a note when you're looking at these pricing pages, the most prominent prices are calculated based on the assumption that you'll be signing up for an annual plan. If you're paying month to month, your price will be a little bit higher. These figures are posted too, but they're a lot smaller, so it's easy to miss. Now, if you're not looking to pay anything and just want to pick between the two free plans, I'd say SmartSuite wins out in every category except for cloud storage. You'll get the vast majority of SmartSuite's field types, views, and other basic features unlocked at no charge, while Airtable keeps many of their features behind a paywall. But the 100 megabytes of cloud storage compared to Airtable's one gigabyte will pretty much limit you to uploading text files only. Ultimately, if you're looking for a budget-friendly option, SmartSuite is going to be the better choice, as long as you can live without the extra features and capacity Airtable offers. Airtable and SmartSuite are both excellent apps that empower you to organize your data and create robust internal systems for your teams. While Airtable is generally the technically superior app and much better fit for enterprise users, SmartSuite's unique features and lower prices make it a good fit for solo builders and small businesses. Open up this video's X-Ray Workflow Resources Board to try out both for free today, and let us know what you think in the comments down below. How are you using Airtable or SmartSuite to manage your data, and which apps do you prefer and why? And if there are any apps you'd like us to explore and compare, just drop the names in the comments and we'll take a look. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the X-Ray Workflow Resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. An X-Ray's workflow design course will show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation and how to seamlessly integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Go to course.xray.tech to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.